This is a video of how I made my robot Spinderella. It's designed for the ant weight class, so it has a maximum weight of 150 grams. I wanted a robot where the weapon would cover the entire robot so that the opponents could not attack the robot from any side without getting hit from the weapon. The robot sits underneath of the weapon. And how I made it was out of just using parts for our remote control planes. So we have a 4 channel radio receiver, two 4.3 gram servos, there's the controller for the brushless motor on the weapon, and a battery, and the brushless motor sits on top. It's all based around a single piece of carbon fibre. I used an 80mm hole saw to cut out the carbon fibre and then I drilled a hole underneath which you can't see for the wires for the weapon motor to pass through four holes to mount on the weapon motor and then I used a bench grinder to cut s slots for the wheels to pass through to make the wiring easier I used a sticky back copper tape to make some tracks for the wires to, instead of wires because the carbon fiber is slightly conductive I had to use a put down a layer of a non-conductive tape before putting on the copper tape on top as I said it's driven by the 4.3 gram servos nice cheap little servos I chose these servos because of their low profile they're only 8 millimeters high I wanted everything in the robot to be 8 millimeters high to try and get the center of gravity of the robot down lower these have been modified to run continuously simply by just removing the potentiometer inside and for wheels I drilled a hole through a center of a 5 cent piece and then glued the 5 cent piece onto the control horn of the servo that way I get some nice small wheels that are actually fairly cheap these are wired up to the 4 channel free sky receiver which is also 8mm high and that's also wired up to a plush Turnigy plush 10 speed controller which has all the heat shrink and a few other bits and pieces removed to try and get the weight down the servos and the receiver are stuck to the robot using a double sided foam tape the speed controller isn't actually stuck down at all it's just held in place with the wires the battery is a 300 and, uh, 370 milliamp hour Turnigy Nanotech battery I've modified it by removing most of the wires I just run the robot through the charging port this was to save weight the there's a uh, Turnigy 2204 brushless motor bolted onto the top of the robot for the weapon and I have a base plate which is also made out of another piece of carbon fiber also cut with a 80 millimeter hole saw has a few extra holes in it it's held in place by three PCB standoffs so that it just screws on with three screws there's a little bit of extra protection and to stop pieces of my own robot from falling out I have this wire mesh which I cut out of a pen holder and it's simply held in place using pieces of wire which are actually from paper clips so it's fairly simple the weapon is made from a, another piece of carbon fibre this one's 100 millimeters in diameter and it is screwed onto the motor I drilled four holes through the top of the motor I disassembled the motor first of course then drilled four holes tapped them with a three millimeter tap and ran four screws into the motor the teeth on the disc are two pieces of right angle steel bracket held in place with three screws 
The weapon weighs about 60 grams out of the total 150 grams of the robot. And unfortunately this makes the robot a little bit hard to control when it hits something. Since so much energy is put into the other robot, so this robot tends to fly across the other side of the arena as well. But it's good fun to play around with. All up, I probably spent about $80 on this robot. Bought everything from Hobby King Online, nice and cheap. And it looks complicated, but it actually, apart from the copper tape, it wasn't that hard to make. I probably didn't need to have all this copper tape in there, but I like the look of it. So, there's Spinderella. If you have any questions, please feel free to message me, and um, I'll tell you how to how I any well answer any questions that you have.